Hey, what is up, phone dogs? Bo HD here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Android Lollipop running on the Nexus 5. But first, I want to take a look at our sponsor for this video, which is Full Sail University. As you guys know, virtually every industry nowadays relies on software technology. Full Sail University offers degree programs that address the need for skilled tech professionals like you and I through a curriculum that blends code and theory into real world experience. On campus in Winter Park, Florida, Full Sail University offers a software development bachelor's degree program. And they offer on campus and online mobile development and web design and development bachelor degree programs. All students receive a laptop computer at an institutional discount along with relevant software and tools. If you guys want to learn more about Full Sail's web and technology programs, visit fullsail.edu slash YouTube. All right, guys, so this is the Nexus 5 running Android 5.0 Lollipop. While Lollipop will be rolling out to the Nexus 4, Nexus 5, and Nexus 7 in the coming days and weeks, I went ahead and flashed the Nexus 5 early just because I really have no patience at all. Basically, that's what it really comes down to. So this is the LPX13D build, and it's essentially the fully functional Android L update we can expect to see when it's officially available. I have yet to find any major bugs or glitches in this OS just from using it. Now, since this is running on the Nexus 5, the main point of this video is to really test out just how well it runs on this year old device. As you know, the Nexus 5 comes equipped with a Snapdragon 800 quad-core processor with 2GB of RAM and an Adreno 330 GPU. And well, as you can see, this thing still flies. In terms of performance alone, it's still a very capable device that can open and close applications in a breeze. With the new performance improvements found in Android Lollipop, applications appear as giant cards essentially that appear up from the bottom of the screen. There's really no lag at all when opening these applications. Even multitasking is a breeze, and it's incredibly fluid. I mean, after all, this is stock Android, and if you guys have been following me for a while now, you know that I love stock Android. It's like the best way to truly experience Android, in my opinion. The only problem I've really noticed doesn't really have to do with the processing power as much as it has to do with the power of the graphics card, aka the Adreno 330 GPU. It's probably the most dated component on the Nexus 5, and since Android Lollipop adds so many new animations, it can occasionally stutter and show signs of lag here and there. It's really not much at all, but it's slightly more noticeable. It's more noticeable when you're really playing games, especially graphically intensive games, obviously since they you know, require more GPU power. But besides that, Android 5.0 Lollipop runs real well on the Nexus 5, and all of its new features run just fine on this device. I'm not going to cover all of them just because there are so many, but if you guys want me to cover all of my favorite Android Lollipop features, make sure you click that thumbs up button. If we can pass, let's say, 500 thumbs up, I'll release my top 5 Android L features, and I'll release some of my new favorite material design apps. I know you guys can do it, so you guys know what to do. But anyway, some of the Android L features on the Nexus 5 that you'll really notice right away appear on the lock screen. Notifications can now appear on the lock screen. You can swipe them away, and you can also double tap on them to open them up, which is awesome and it's just super convenient. Another area you'll quickly notice is the notification tray itself, which is much more transparent. You'll see just the notification cards, and you can easily access some quick settings, which are an additional swipe down. From there, you can adjust the brightness, the Wi-Fi, and the Bluetooth, along with several other settings. There's now a built-in flash toggle, which again, is super useful. You can also cast your screen to Chromecast, which I actually love more than anything. But yeah, just as you can see running through this OS, you can see you know new additions to the multitasking bar, and just everything is much more animated. It's pretty cool. And for being a one-year-old device, Android Lollipop runs extremely well on the Nexus 5, especially in an ever-changing world of technology. So let me know if you guys want to see some more Android Lollipop features, maybe on the Nexus 9, which I'll be getting my hands on soon. But as always, guys, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.